your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Good morning. Starting off the day today in the 20s. For the most part out there, you see lots of 20s. We do see a 31 over here, 33 off to the west, 32 down in Florida. There are a lot of clouds kind of starting to sneak in across our skies. And where those clouds come into play, they act as a blanket. We're going to see a lot of clouds in the overnight hours this week. And so that helps to keep temperatures from falling too much in the overnight hours. Right now, you can see where the clouds are thicker off to the south and to the west of this immediate area. But we are seeing those clouds begin to filter in all across the two state area as we begin the day today. Quite a bit of cloud cover. So as you head out the door, again, Today's temperature is not going to warm a whole lot for us. We should see low to mid 40s this afternoon. So a seasonably cold day. That's about where we should be for this day in December. As we look through the week ahead between now and the weekend, temperatures a little warmer than normal across the southeast. The coldest of air remains out across the high plains. And in between, we do find ourselves at generally about where we should be. And that's going to be for a large part of of the week ahead. Temperatures pretty close to normal for this time of the year. We'll see a lot of cloud cover, as we said, and maybe a few sprinkles here or there today. Tonight, in the overnight hours, we might see a few light showers developing. As we get into Tuesday, I think a better chance of some rain Tuesday later and into early Wednesday, as you see there. And then I think we'll get a little break on Wednesday before more rain chances again Wednesday night and into Thursday. Between now and Tuesday, we're not seeing any heavy amounts of rain. Again, you see a few spots may see just a little more than a quarter of an inch. That includes Greencastle and Terre Haute. But a lot of areas seeing less than a tenth of an inch of rain for any rain that we see between now and Wednesday. We do anticipate some of that rain probably most likely as we go in the overnight hours tonight and again tomorrow late. So today, much of the day will be cloudy at 42 for a daytime high. Not a lot of sun today, not to say we wouldn't see a peak or two, but just don't expect a lot of sun really much of the week. Tonight, as we keep those clouds around and maybe a few light showers, our temperatures won't fall below freezing. We'll stay in the mid-30s. Those winds out of the south at around 10 miles per hour. We'll see more chances of rain Tuesday and into early Wednesday. Cloudy for much of the day Wednesday. A little bit warmer, though, as you see in the 50s for Wednesday and Thursday. Showers Thursday into early Friday should end, I think, right now it looks like a dry Friday night and at least a dry start to the weekend before yet more rain chances return on Sunday and into the start of next week. So uh, again, I, it's not a bad forecast. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot of sunshine that we're going to see. I think I would keep my umbrella in the car. That's a good plan. Yeah, just keep it on hand because there's going to be that possibility throughout the week you may need it at times. All right. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much, Julie. Well, now let's go over.